Welcome to The Short Score, your weekly update of rope and news from around the industry, where you can find the latest on the sport from the pro rodeo ranks to the jackpot world. I'm Taylor Vollen, and I'm your host. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Short Score. It's your host, Taylor Vollen. Well, the chaos of Vegas is officially over, and I have to say after two weeks of being there, it does feel a little weird not having much going on. For this episode of The Short Score, I'm going to be taking you guys back to last week to the Ariat World Series of Team Rope and Riata Buckle Open Finale. Bubba Buckaloo and Nikki Northcott were 43.06 on six steers to get the big win and take home 106000 This episode of The Short Score is brought to you by Purina. The PhD equine nutritionist at Purina Animal Nutrition tackle problems using science, and their love of horses keeps them at it until they get it right. Even with the most established feeds, they keep innovating. Even when it takes years of research, they don't stop until it's right. They are dedicated to the scientific method, but it can't capture the feeling of seeing a horse reach their full potential. It takes science and love to help your horses live their best life. Put their research to the test at horseinnovation.com. Okay, second World Series finale open win. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about, uh, give me the play-by-play on this week, or on this day's runs. Uh, well, we just done that over there, and uh, our first year was pretty tough. Uh, he, as soon as I headed him, he jumped straight up and uh, made a, Nikki did an amazing job healing him. That was probably the best heel shot I've seen in a while. Um, second steer, freaking ran um really hard we used the whole arena and we're six nine and then steer three was a loper he was he was good we we made a really good run we're six five um he did great healing him all of them actually but the fourth one same deal steer kind of drug and uh he did a good job healing him uh but he did lope that was a good thing about it our our toughest steer was steer five he was runner and we were eight. Like he hauled butt and then short round steer was just a nice, good steer. We made just a good, good run. Uh, Nikki, how do you know Bubba? How did you guys end up roping today? Uh, I've known Bubba since I was like a little kid, just watching him uh, rope the NFR, just knowing him because my dad rode it a little bit. And so I was kind of around a lot of the. Huh? Your dad rodeoed a little bit? Well, I mean, when I was, like, oh. <laughs> he rodeoed before I was even born. So, okay. like, when I was actually old enough to know what was going on, uh, he was rodeoing just a little bit, and uh, I kind of got to know a few people when I was younger, so I've always known Bubba. And uh, he asked me to rope, and I was pretty pumped up about it, so. Um, talk about the day for you. You pulled off some pretty sweet shots all day on your app horse tell me about it uh i was just trying to catch two feet no matter what and that was my main goal all day no matter long no matter uh, how long it took to catch so uh, i threw fast on some and then really really slow on some of them so i guess that's just what it took to win um your horse lets you throw really really slow on some of them like he lets you kick over him no yeah he's not he's the freest horse i own that's why i like him he's pretty forgiving uh talk about the start that you know there were some barriers, some heel barriers today. What were you looking at? What were you trying to see? Um, really, my horse is pretty fast. I was just – and he scores super good. So I was just trying to make sure I didn't break the barrier. Like uh, I think the barrier was three or four under, and I just tried to see, you know, some kind of shoulder around the end of the gate every time, and luckily it worked out. What horse was that? Uh, that's my black horse. I call him Frank. Uh He's a race horse, an old race horse, and he's made a pretty good head horse. He's a quarter horse race horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. on a straight thoroughbred. Yeah. Um, what's what is what's on his papers? Do I have his papers? Maybe. Uh, his name's Brooks Feature. He's a Brookstone, Brookstone Bay out of a uh, Chicks of Blazing Mare. He's he's a pretty good horse. Um, and the last time you were here, you won it on silver, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's silver doing? I retired him uh, last year. Um, he had pretty much all year off, and then I rode him at like three rodeos, like the Dodge City Week, and he did good, and he was pretty crippled after that, so I just decided it was probably time. Nikki, I feel like you've been in more high-pressure situations than most any 17-year-olds. Um, 
Do you feel that way? Do you, are, were you nervous at all? Did this feel like a high pressure situation? No, uh, actually the other day, uh, me and Snow were talking and he was like, well, when you go to the entry office and pay your fees, your money's gone. So when you're open your steers, I mean, there's no need to be nervous. Your money's, it's already taken. So you just kind of rope your game and see if you can win. Sounds like a Cody Snow perspective. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was nervous. You're, yeah. Talk about your nerves. What were you, what were you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just uh, we're building a new house, and you are. Josie's pregnant. My wife's pregnant, so I knew we needed to. It was nice to win fifty-three thousand today. How long have you and Josie been married? Long time. Uh, this year will be ten years. Mhm. Mm and so this baby is a huge blessing. Yeah, I think very more huge. than we can say, or more yep. than people could ever know. Yep. Yeah. So when when's Josie due? Uh, May sixth. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. What, uh, did you have all the money set aside for this house or is this going to finally like put the roof on? Actually, uh, we had most of it and she told me the other day she, we were almost done and she's like, we might need 10,000 to finish it. And I was like, well, I don't know where we're going to get it, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Nikki, what is, uh, 50, 51,000, 52, how much 53. would you, 53, what's 53,000 going to do for you right now? Uh, so I can enter more probably. I didn't. I, I didn't win anything in Arizona, so I was uh, I was kind of behind. And then I went over here and won. It was great because I was down money a lot actually. Um, you've had that app a long time, right? A couple since TG. When did TG write him? He I think he wrote him uh, at the NFR in 2019. And I bought him in 2020, mm -hmm. that January right after. What has he done for your game? Uh, he's just made me probably a better healer than I could have ever been without him. So. That's great. What are your future plans? What's what are you thinking? What like permit next year? I'm gonna try to pro rodeo when I turn 18. That's about it. That's all I have going for me. Do you homeschool? Uh, yeah, I homeschool. Yeah, very good. No, you don't want a college rodeo? You no, wanna go I, I don't want to go to college. I think college is terrible. But <laughs> I don't like school in general. <laughs> Kids at home, don't listen to this. Um, <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> Unless you're Nikki Northcott and heal as good as you do. <laughs> Bubba, are you going to slow down rodeo in you guys? Building a house, having a family, what are you thinking? Um, I'm going to go through the winter this year and see how it goes. And uh, I figure, you know, the baby's going to be born in May. So I might try to rodeo one or two more years and see how it goes. And But slow down a little bit probably. Who do you have this winter? I'm going to rope with Tanner Braden. Hmm. That's a good run. Yeah. Great run. From yeah. Him. Do you guys live far from? Well, you're in Texas. No, right? I'm in or southern Oklahoma, in southern but Oklahoma. he's in northern. He's like on the Kansas line. We're probably three and a half hours, four hours apart. Gosh, are you entered up the rest of the week here? No. You're, gonna he you're not going to heal? Uh, What's your heal number? I just got lowered last week to a seven plus. So you're not going to heal here? Well, that's they just lowered me. I didn't get entered in time. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. I'm, 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 I might be entering healing. I don't know. Poe's supposed to be trying to get us in the 12. <laughs> Nikki, what's, this is the only roping you can rope in, right? Or are you in the 15? Uh, I entered the 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah, I got a 14 run, and uh, hopefully I win in that. Yeah. Who do you have? In, I, I don't know who you are. Enrique and Munoz. Okay. Puerto Rican, Sticks. Good run. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, did you have family here? Who did you come out with? Uh, I came out with Jackson Tucker, but my mom flew out here to watch and stuff so yeah Baba, who all's here for you thank um josie's here um my dad flew in night before last and then i've got a crap load of friends that are out here from southern oklahoma that just flew out here to watch the rodeo and stuff and there was a bunch of them here today so crowd was fun that was a huge crowd for the yeah. open yeah it was mm -hmm.